But but and <laughs> his eyes are just spaced out. He's just like leaving all focus. This is the weird part. <laughs> The well, steps count different going up and down. Like, what the hell, right? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no, I was lying. I feel like, did we give them voices beforehand? Yeah, we did. <laughs> like, this guy had a weird, like, nasally voice, and then, like, that guy just, like, yo, talk like this. <laughs> oh, that's right. He was very ghetto y. <laughs> <laughs> and there are six other weird stories like that. Six! <laughs> it's like. Like, what the fuck, right? The Seven <laughs> Wonders of Twi Tw Twilight Town. Twilight? Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> we know investigation. Investigation. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know should... investigation. Good point. <laughs> we should investigate those for our school project. We're in school. <laughs> we never go to school. <laughs> we just hang out here and eat ice cream. Why do you think I'm so fat? Yeah, that's very true. We have never once seen these guys go to school. Either. No! <laughs> they don't do anything. <laughs> like, they're just bum kids and just sit around, don't do a damn thing, and eat ice cream. And Rox there might be on their head. rumors going around, too. <laughs> Let's split up, gang. I'll go with Daphne. I'm gonna look for their seven wonders of something. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Go ahead, you do this voice too. Okay. <laughs> oh, let now go find some new rumors. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you maybe just think of resting about. Come on. That leaves me, you and me, Roxas. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I've got you for three minutes of playtime. <laughs> 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 A cage drops down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Let's try the train first. <laughs> to the station! Rock's just in there? What? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I'm just kinda here. The usual spot. Yeah, I say vain. Probably should have did this off screen, but No, what? they they like to see us save. It it gives them their 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 willies all <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk today, is is what I'm learning. It's just not happening. <laughs> Words. They're hard. Uh, Just loose. like my penis. Oh man, I don't remember where the train station is. It's, isn't it over there? I think it's this way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. Yay! Hey, I am so you. happy you knew where I was going with that. <laughs> we went to the place and now we're at the station. Yeah, we did it. We yeah. did it. Skateboard! Away! I don't give a shit, I don't want this. Can't find any rumors about anything, I'm just standing here in circles. What the fuck? You guys are getting on a train at the station, right? I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Help me. Hmm. I need help. What am I gonna do? Help. I like how I just use the skateboards to get around everywhere. It's just so fast. Mm, it is. It's, I, I wish more games had the option to just skateboard Time everywhere. has come. Our hunt for the Seven Wonders begins. Oh, seven Wonders begins. Ooh, this is an adventure. Exciting. Am I the one who's noticing that this train just has Find one cart? Already? It's like the front of the train, that's it. Yeah, yeah, and also there's nobody else here at the station. You twerps <laughs> this place is a ghost us. town. It's kind of scary. To yeah, I was gonna say, like, this is such like a small town for a, a city that looks big. Yeah, it looks huge, and like, there's just nobody anywhere. <laughs> Come on, we can all go. <laughs> What's it like the whole time, like, they're just really the only ones here, and everyone else is imaginated? <laughs> they're all just insane. Yes. What was there was it wasn't that like a uh, like a theory for like Rugrats or something like that? Oh, that they were all, like the babies were all like Angelica's imagination or something. Did you hear like I think it was like someone on Twitter came out and said that theory is not true. Well, no, it's definitely not true. Yeah, but yeah. it's yeah, someone had some kind of theory like that. Like, yeah. That would just be crazy. I, I forget what the idea behind it was too. Like I guess like like was it Dylan Phil were like miscarriage? No, Tommy was a miscarriage. Or I guess like I don't know. And, like, the father was just, like, so depressed, so he kept, like, making toys or something like or, that. Or there was that theory for Ed, Ed, and Eddie, where they were, like, in purgatory. Oh, like, yeah. Like, that, that cul-de-sac was just purgatory. That's why you never saw their parents, because their parents were never there. It was just those kids trapped in that, like, cul-de-sac. <sighs> yeah, well, yeah, and, like, for a while, like, everyone was just like, yeah, that's why you never got to see anything outside of the cul-de-sac. Everything was just in the cul-de-sac. Yeah, it was just, like, in the neighborhood and, like, the surrounding areas. It was just, like, that area. And then they eventually broke it by saying, yeah, now you yeah. see their school. Yeah, right, they had that, like, movie where they were at school and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what's really funny? Because I know people were always like, yeah, man, I really like when they when you got to see them in school. I hated when I saw them in school. I hated it. I thought it took away the whole, like, it takes away the whole point. The, like, yeah. the whole show, it, it's, like, perpetually, like, Death summer. You summer, know? Like, every time. Yeah. yeah. The ones that count and, like, I don't know. Just, that's, they even had that episode where they were celebrating Christmas mm-hmm. in July. Actually, yeah. The stupidest thing ever, but... Oh, yeah, there's, like, the whole joke is, like, what? but it's July. Yeah, it's July. Like, that's the whole thing. It's It's... That whole show is about, like, kids doing their crazy antics during the summer, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I hate it, because when I saw them in school, I was just like, eh. And I, I actually, I physically stopped watching a lot of the show. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I don't want to deal with them in school. I hate when they're in school. I hate it. It reminds me of when I'm in school, and I don't like that. Exactly. I hated it when I was a kid. I hated every second of it. I'm right there with you, man. I was never a fan of school. I mean, I like seeing all my friends and stuff. Yeah, like, but... it's really funny, because, like... Whenever I think about it, it's like, like, oh man, I miss high school. But I think I miss seeing, like, You miss the my, people. And yeah. Like, yeah, the times you had outside of class, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, it was just... Um, oh, well, shit. Okay. I guess... I guess we're going there? Well, that's already checked, so... Oh. I, or, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Did you... Have... I guess you just gotta go around town and find this stuff, so... Oh. There's a creepy moment stuff. So, okay, well... <sighs> Okay. God, this oh, this is this part where you have to like look for the yeah, right. I just want to get to Sora. Right, this 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 will just never end. It's just. Ah. I remember when we did our Assassin's Creed video. I was talking about how slow of a start Assassin's Creed Two has, but I don't think any game is as slow of a start as this one. Yeah, like ah, I I, and I'm sure there's probably someone out there who really loves Roxas. I mean, yeah. I, you know what? I I can I can see the appeal of like because I think what the beginning of this game is trying to do is kind of like what we're talking about with Ed and Eddie where you got this group of friends and they're in this town and they're just doing their own weird shit I, you're supposed to like these characters but I just don't think anyone really cares yeah well see like my thing is like when I first saw like, the design of Oxus I'm like oh he looks so cool but it's just I mean design wise he's not bad because he's like Let's be frank, even if Sora is a better character, Roxas' design is way less goofy. Which is very true. Like, Roxas, you could you could almost see that stuff wearing. Yeah, I mean, like, the clothes are less, like, insane. His hair isn't as dumb. Like, yeah. Oh, I already forgot how to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I agree. Like, I remember, like, um, when, when I saw Roxas coming out, me and my mom went out to, like... I think, I think it was, yeah, we went out to, like, Hot Topic and something like that, see if I could find clothing or stuff like that. Because uh-huh. I was so obsessed with Roxas' designs so because I wanted to be him for Halloween. Yeah. And, um, I remember me and my mom, the longest time, we were trying to find, like, those black rings on his fingers, like, the black and white rings. Oh, yeah. I remember it was just impossible for us to find them. And my mom was like, well, maybe you should probably try to do something else for Halloween. Like, no, ma, I want me this character. His name is Roxas. <laughs> and I knew nothing else about him. Just the same. Because I think it was before the game came out. Oh. Um, yeah, it might have been. But I remember mean, just being obsessed with Roxas for a while, and then after I discovered playing, I'm like, stupid, he's glorious. <laughs> I want to get to Sora. Yeah, he's just such a boring character. It's disappointing. Yeah. And like, I, like I said, I'm sure there's someone out there who really likes him. I just don't. <laughs> I just do not. It is not me. <laughs> you all right? I just not. <laughs> Well, apparently he forgot how to talk. Now that's spooky. Look at that fat kid, huh? <laughs> Chilling now! I thought I saw someone, but it was just my ugly reflection. I bet this is behind one of those seven wonders. Isn't this the part where Roxas actually physically sees things and no one else sees it but him? I think this is that part. Yeah, it might be. Another me? What? Just fought Shadow Roxas. Oh, Original man. character, do not steal. Original character, do not steal from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what was... Oh, it was Dragon Ball Z that was paying homages to uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, right? It's like Tapion. You know what's funny? Um, Tapion came out before Ocarina of Time Link. Is that so? Yeah. Uh, it, it could be very... It's still, Tapion could be a, a reference to Legend of Zelda. Because he had the ocarina. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, like, an ocarina... I think there was an ocarina in uh, A Link to the Past, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Wrath of the Dragon, the movie, actually came out before the Ocarina of Time game did. Oh. So... So it's more of, like, who, you know, who really stole from who. 
Well, nobody steals from anyone. Well, I'm sorry, like, I shouldn't you know, say stole. Yeah. That's not what I meant to Yeah, say. I don't think anybody stole from anybody. I, I think they're just clear homages. Um, yeah. Actually, um... Spoiler alert, but with the upcoming arc of Dragon Ball Super, um, it looks like they're playing with like because they're doing the like huge multiversal tournament with all the like 12 universes. And yeah. and they, they did a um, a trailer for in the show. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> they showed a trailer um, of like you see some of the other gods of destruction and stuff like that. Really? And it looks like in one universe they're playing paying homage to Batman. Really? Because the god of destruction is like this evil looking clown. Um, there, his um, angel, you know, like Weiss, yeah. is uh, a female with like pigtails, kind of like Harley Quinn. Oh, and then dumb. they show in the back there's like this weird like hooded figure who almost looks like he could be Batman. <laughs> So I think they're playing, paying homage to Batman with that one. But... Really? That's cool. Yeah. Wow. You, you have to show me that later off screen. Yeah, well. <laughs> also, again, spoiler alert, uh, there looks like there's a female Broly. <laughs> again, they're I'll, finally I'll show doing you. that? Well, it's it's obviously not Broly, but yeah. like she like has like his transformation. She gets super buff. Does she have that little necklace that cover up her nipples? No, I mean, she's clothed, um, oh. but she gets, like, hugely buff, loses her pupils when she goes Super Saiyan and stuff. I mean, granted, this will be the first female Super Saiyan we've seen in the show, so that's pretty fucking cool. That is very true, yeah. We've seen Saiyans, but not Super Saiyans. Yeah. Because of, you know, the whole Bar uh, Bardock special. <clears throat> right. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I always love it, because you always find, like, your info out, like, ahead of time. I <laughs> It always amazes me. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's all, it's all just Reddit, because, like, I'll subscribe to different subreddits that I'm interested in, like the DVZ one, for example, and they just post all that shit there, so. Hmm. That's just how I learn about everything. You know what's really funny, and I know, like, about a bunch of people are like, oh, because I'm sure they're probably all sick of it because of Suicide Squad, but putting Suicide Squad uh, aside, you know, I've always found Harley Quinn hot. Oh, she is. Hell. Yeah. I don't know what it is about her. <laughs> she, she just, like, she is the embodiment of that really hot psycho chick, you know? The kind yes. of girl that you wouldn't want a long-term relationship with. <laughs> someone you but... just don't bring home to parents. <laughs> right, right. Like, it's someone you couldn't see yourself settling down with, but just, like, that kind of, like, psychoticness. You're like, oh, man, it's kind of well, fucking hot. Th the one thing I think that really, like, turned me on to her was the fact of, like, how, like, obsessed she is over the Joker. Because, like... Put aside, like, you know, the craziness and all that, but, like, mm. she really cares about Joker, and she will do anything it takes yeah. to be with him. You know what I mean? And I don't know why, but something about her accent really... I really like it. <laughs> I don't I, know why. It, I know. I know, like, her voice is, like, kind of supposed to be, like, annoying, but it's, like, at the same time, it's, it's, it's it just kind of works. I it's, know. it's weird. It's really weird. And, you know, it's really funny, because I, like... The original voice actress was really good, but I also oh, yeah. really like, um... What's the new girl? Tara is? Strong. Thank you, Tara Strong. Yeah, well, she Tara Strong is like one of the greatest female voice actors around. Oh gosh, she, she voices everybody. Childhood. Yeah, she did. Uh, oh gosh, she did uh, Raven. Mm -hmm. uh, she, I think she even did Dill Pickles at a point. Yeah, yeah. She, I, she, she did Tommy Pickles. I don't remember. Did she do but, Tommy? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. But she's done. Yeah, a whole lot of. Yeah, she's done whole bubbles. Like she's a lot. Actually, um, in the series of Unfortunate Events show that's on Netflix now, oh, don't she put does it in my heart. the baby. Oh, she's doing the voice acting for the baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. Tara Strong's and everything, man. Like, she's she's amazing. She if there's a female voice acting role in something, it's probably Tara Strong. She actually also did Batgirl in the original. Yes, that I knew. Too. Yes. Which. Um, she, didn't she also do it for Killing Joke, too? I think so, yeah. yeah. I know, like, a lot of people gave, you know, that whole section of the love thing. Which, I agree. It was unnecessary. The Killing Joke did not need the love yeah. connection between Batman and Joker. The Joker. Uh, Batman and Batgirl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. I know there's that fans. That butt sex scene between Batman and the Joker was a little much. I'm not sure why they added that in. But. Listen, I know there's probably some fan fiction out there for that stuff. Oh, absolutely. Um, but, like, the point is that... Um, it was unnecessary, but I, I love Batgirl to death. In the movie, it, to me, it got yeah, annoying. It, yeah, because she was just hardcore obsessing over him. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Um, I didn't like that portrayal in the beginning. There, like I, I'm gonna be straight up with it. Uh, though, 
I liked the movie for two reasons. One, because I just love the Killing Joke, the story, and yes. two, because I, I love uh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill. Oh they're, gosh, and, yes. and Tara Strong, like they're they're, they're good, they're fantastic at what they do. You own it, but, don't you? The okay. Killing Joke? Yeah. No, I, I had rented it. Um, okay, I but, have it if you ever need to read it again. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, the movie. I, I I didn't like that beginning part they added in, and I didn't like the animation was just not very good it wasn't up to snuff with most oh, of the, for the killing joke yeah, yeah it, it, movies. it def- It felt choppy and... i'm not gonna lie and i really love dc like i love dc comics and i love their animated films their live action are very questionable um yeah but um yet lately a lot of their animation films like i've been noticing been a lower grade look at right. war look at all these other ones i'm like why it just haven't been as good for some reason um yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, next time on uh, French, we're, uh, we're still looking for the seven, seven orders. Yeah, I've only found three so far. Oh, joy! This is the best part of the game! <laughs>